Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to talk about what are the time entry options the employee have. So let's start today's session. So we have been talking all about setup so far, but now we will look at the user side of it with time entry options. So starting in the middle of the slide, the delivered option for your workers to enter time are the online time cards or a web clock functionality. So a web, web clock is like the online version of a punch clock where people used to punch in when they started, punch out when they stop. And then we would calculate the time interval to figure out how much time they had worked. And another option for time entry is a third party time collection device that you can integrate with time and labor as an external data feed. So here a screenshot of the places we will go. These are the navigation area referenced in the previous slide. So when the responsive UI is enabled, your worker can access their time card using either the existing time card quick actions menu or by using the current time card quick action button. And they both fall under the me designation that you see at the top here. And the things you will see once you click on the button there uh, where the worker enter their time card will be based on the layout that associated with the time entry profile. So that's associated with the workers at same group that the worker happened to fall into. Now, another way your user can get to those same two option is to go through the time card and absence area. And once they are in the time and absence area, they have not only the time card entry, but you will have another area request time change. If um, here the eligible Elizabeth our employee in this case submitted her time card and she realized that she needs to change it. Will she be able to go back and directly change her submitted time card? Or does she have to request a time card change that goes through her manager or time and labor administrator? It's one of those considerations where your answer will determine whether the option shows up on this page. And two other quick mentions on this page, you will see calendar at the bottom. And if Elizabeth click the calendar, she will be able to see her schedule and any time that she reported through absences management on her time card. If we set up that to be that way. And in the team schedule, right next to the calendar, she can see her schedule and the schedule of her colleagues also. The other tiles of the page are absence management feature, but you see them in the shared space. So for the worker, they are two sides of the same coin, time work, time off. So two application, but a seamless experience for the user. And remember, it's all stored in a shared time repository. So let's move to the application and see on the application how you can see that so i'm going to log in in the application so you will see on the screen that i logged in as a catree hendrick and catree has a time card entry capability which she can access in two different ways there are both showing on the screen she can go to the time and absences here which brings her into her work area with the all um, of the time and labor related options as just we show in the slide so here you can see the add absences for the absence management existing time card existing absence the current time card the request time change the absence balance the cash disbursement donation and team schedule okay so going back to the home page for her second option So here you can see the existing time cards for her quick action links.
and this takes her directly into the area where she can create a time card right as you can see it's a blank slate here so here you can click on the add icon to add a time card so this is about the time entry option for your worker i hope this topic is clear to you so thank you so much for watching the video